Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I really hope everyone is doing great. Today I have a thrift shop, charity shop haul. I did a community poll and a lot of you actually wanted to see this kind of content, which I'm really, really happy with because I love charity shops. You know, I don't know, there's just something about it because you don't know what you're gonna get when you go in and that's what I really like. I've actually always liked car boot sales and things from when I was really young. <laughs> it's just funny because, you know, I wasn't the type, the typical type of girl from even a young age. So yeah, I really enjoyed just going around and having a look at, back then I used to pick up dolls, clothes and accessories. Yeah, and I just really love like that. There's so many different unique things. Yeah, so anyway, you get the point, okay? How much I like charity shops. I have to say though, the charity shops around here are a little bit pricey. So yeah, like sometimes I see things from Poundland and it's like three to five times the amount that Poundland was asking. So it's a little bit hard trying to find good price things now. So I'm going to start with this set here, which I really, really liked because of like the colour and the texture. And it's these here. I don't know why it reminds me of Greek, Greek stuff, you know. So you've got like the flowers in yellow and then the design in blue. I think this comes with a lid. Let me just get it. Okay, so this is a lid that came with it. And I actually need your ideas for what to place in here. Because I don't really know. Yeah, I just grabbed these, but I have no idea. I mean, I know you could put your tea bags in there. And um, maybe sugar. But I don't really use canisters. And the lid, for some reason, kind of slides around a little bit. It's not really, like, it doesn't just sit on there, so that's kind of weird. And then, in the same range, I've got this beautiful piece again. I really love these. You know, most of the time when I go to the thrift store, I kind of buy stuff that no one else buys, and then I give them a makeover, but I got these initially to do that. When I got home, I was just like, what? I'm not going to do that to these. They're just really, really beautiful. It kind of reminds me of, um, you know, cottage core style. So yeah, I thought, oh, that's really, really nice. And it goes with this jug, which was another buy. It really looks nice as a set. Like imagine there's this and this, and then the other one. And then I've got these two plates here. And I actually don't want to put anything in these plates. I want it to just be like a display on the side. There's two plates. I really like them. It's kind of like handmade, you know, that's how it feels and looks. And it's got little cracks. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I don't know what, like how they do that. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite things that I've got. Yeah, so please do give me ideas of what I could place inside there. I'm thinking for the jug to have dried flowers in there. That way I can have it out all the time. And I picked this up and I have no idea what this is. What is this? I picked it up because I thought I could make something like a honey jar DIY. But yeah, I have no idea. Hello? Hello? But yeah, I thought maybe like when you put tea bags in something that you could just grab out really quickly. Yeah, just clue this on what this actually is. But it's porcelain and it's actually from m &S. I then picked up this mug for my hubby. It's a really big mug, so I'm not too sure if he's gonna use it, but I really liked the vintage car on there. And he really likes cars and old cars as well, so that's why I got that. I picked this up for a pound, and I thought I'll just use it for like storage in my craft room, especially because it's got scissors on there anyway. What else does it have on there? It's kind of, yeah, it's like French. Yeah, I quite like that. It's a good size, handles are good as well. It was initially two pounds, but it went on to sale for a pound. And I picked this up, I think like 50p. I don't like the color, but um, yeah. Again, it will, be, it will be okay for storage in the craft room. And then I got some pillows. <laughs> I don't know if I should say this or not. Hubby was like, that's so gross. Why did you pick them up? And he was like saying that it's probably come from someone who's passed away. 
and I was like, great, thank you. <laughs> but they are like really, really bad because look at that, that's like an orange colour and then this is red. But I picked it up just to use the red side <laughs> for some material basically for making pumpkins and stuff around autumn time. So yeah, they're quite big actually. And I've got another one, so those two there. And I picked this up just to use as stuffing. <laughs> And one of these I picked up and he was like, this was, this was on the, the person's bed before they passed away. I'm like, please. He always just likes to pull my leg a little bit. But I got this for the lace. All of the lace, I take it apart and also the bow, really. I got this for my mum, but she's probably going to be like, what the heck? Why did you get this for me? And I got it for her because she likes Scottish stuff. And she used to like dolls, okay, that's why I got it for her. But I think she's probably just going to be like, thanks, but no thanks. So this is what it is. How much is I got it for 20p, like, come on. You know, I feel even if she doesn't want it, like, I'll put it back to charity. But it's really cute. Look at the little skirt. And then there's, like, some other dollies there that you can collect. There's even got some on the side. Oh, I really like this one. I think it's like Dutch girls. And one of the things I really like getting from charity shops. Oh, my mic is pretty far down. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, yeah, one of the things I like getting from charity shops are board games. And I picked this one up. Obviously, I couldn't look inside. But when I got home, I was like, I'm not going to be able to play this. It's... For 2 to 36 players, age 15, um, upwards, onwards, and it's like a trivia pursuit game, and it's really hard questions, in my opinion, anyway. So let's open it up, show you the board, it's really old, like look, <laughs> look at the drawings on there, and even the colours, the colours are faded. Yeah, it opens up pretty big. And the questions, let's see if I've got any smarty pants, clever clogs here, if anyone knows. Let's just pull one out at random. What island, let, let me just get my mic, what island was first sighted from a Dutch ship on Easter Day, 1772? Anyone know? <laughs> I told you it's extremely hard, I thought anyway, Easter Island. So I thought I'm going to give this to my mum as well because she's been around a bit more than me and um, she might know the answer to a few things and hopefully she enjoys that along with her doll. <laughs> I feel like she's not going to want either of these. This is something I picked up for 20p and I just thought oh, maybe I can do something with it. It's obviously a curtain tie thing. And it is really thick, so hopefully I can think of something. You know what I have to say? I was thinking, yeah, I'm buying all these things for 50p. One pound probably was my max, I think. Um, and then most of my stuffs, stuffs, most of my things were 20p um, and things like that. And I like cashed up and it ended up being about 30 pounds. And I was surprised. I was so shocked. Because, you know, you're like, 20p, 20p, 20p. I actually got home and I went through it all just to make sure and it was correct. So, yeah. Just goes to show, even when things are cheap, you can end up buying a lot more. And you know what? I don't even have place for any of this. I am struggling so bad. So I'm probably going to have to put things to charity all over again. I've done that recently. And... Um, going to have to do it all again and make space for all of this new stuff. Um, one of the things I really liked from there are these placemats. You know, I love vintage, I love shabby chic and yeah, I just really like it. Really quite a good size as well. I've only ever seen like the small placemats, coasters rather, and then the, you know, normal size placemats, but I haven't seen any of this size and I've got four of them. Came in a pack of four. 
so that's those and then I also picked up this again really nice and vintage I'm probably going to be using them somehow in my like crafts so it's this set here and you can see really nice spring vintage and this is a scented bath seeds scented bath things I don't know why they call it seeds do they still refer to it as that? Yeah, this was made in the UK. No idea. David Whiteheads and Sons. Never heard of that. Shop or store. Obviously, it was existing some time ago. I picked these up. And they've got little hanging things at the back. And obviously, I'm going to give these a makeover. I'm probably going to do like some decoupage on them. And that's the little thing that you the hook that you can hang it up with and then another favorite of mine was this beautiful shabby chic tray look at the detail on there they also had you know the old mirrors what do they call them you know the mirrors that I'm talking about, they're like square and they've got like a long handle. They had that and I thought, oh, it's going to look really nice on here. And then for some reason I didn't pick it up. I think at that point I started feeling a little bit bad, like, Leanne, you're buying so much stuff that you don't even need. And we're in hard times right now. <laughs> the petrol prices, oh my God, the gas prices. <sighs> Everything is going up. Today's video is also in collaboration. It's not sponsored, but it is in collaboration with Newer. You might have heard of them because I have collaborated with them very, very recently, which says a lot because if I'm doing it again, that means I really do vouch for their products. So today I have a photo box that I want to just show you very quickly and review. It is the best photo box that I have got, and I've tried a few that are even more pricier off Amazon and they just don't come anywhere near as good as this one here. So you can see that this box here has like an opening and then there's also an opening from the top. So if you do photography, if you do, you know, YouTube thumbnails, whatever, or you've got like an Etsy, um, this is a really, really good piece of kit. And the top allows you to have like, you know, when you want to take a photo at the top of the product, or you can just get in from the main side and you also have something that you can change the level of the brightness so you can have it dimmer you can have it higher and i really really love the light that's inside because you know how important it is to have well lit you know photography for your products and stuff it's just so important for a thumbnail or for products you really have to have good lighting so this at least i don't have to like drag other lighting i just use what's inside and leo loves this box you know he has a thing for these newer products i showed you all in the last video when i filmed with this company like that leo loved the bag and my other cat pumps yeah but leo just kept getting into this photo box and i had to be like leo i'm sorry to tell you but this is not for you <laughs> So yeah, I've had to kind of hide it because he just keeps getting in there. The other thing that came with these boxes are three different, so you've got four colours in total. You have white, you have grey, you have black, and then you have like a beige, not a beige, like a tan brown colour. So you can have that in the background and you just slot them in, which I think is really good because I also do need different um, backgrounds so I think that's really good because I do need different backgrounds sometimes so please do check them out the link will be in the description box as always and thank you so much to Newer for collaborating with me again now let's get into the rest of the video I got these little planters and I think I got them for a pound maybe 50p they were initially two pounds from the charity shop and these actually come from Asda they are bamboo fiber and I really liked like the smallness of them. <laughs> They're just really mini and cute. And I like the colours as well, but I'm probably going to have to repaint them when I do something on my DIY channel with them. And then I picked this up. It reminds me of, you know, it's just so Japanese. I got this. Let me just empty it. Let me start with this. I picked up some miniatures. I was so happy to see. This is a little wagon. You know I do a lot of miniatures if you're following me on my craft channel. 
and yeah I could just so do with this it's one of the things I've always wanted to find is a little wagon and a cauldron which I found I'll show it you later a little another tray this was 20p as well they gave this for free it's like a piece of material I don't know if I'm going to use it it's just like a net but I think it I think it's like a storage bag maybe it's got an elasticated thing that you can pull I picked up this Mr. Polar Bear. I quite like this, you know, it's, I don't know what it's made of. It's like straw. I've been looking for a rabbit and like maybe a squirrel version of these just to use on my craft channel. Everything is for my craft channel usually. So yeah, I picked this one up because I really, really like this kind of texture and I thought I can use him for some winter crafts. It's got a little scarf on as well. I got this um, jewellery box but it's in a really bad condition. I didn't actually like really pay attention. This has fallen apart. Thankfully I can probably hot glue that but I quite like the colour and the beads. I think I might have thought to give this to my mum but I'm definitely going to have to clean it up a little bit and stick things back together. I got this for 20p. I've actually been looking for a really long time for a watering can that's not too big. This is still bigger than I would like but I do like it. You know again just nice and shabby chic. This is another one of, of the things I've picked up and I have no idea why I picked it up. I mean okay it's cute. I found the bears cute. Not so much the girl. I liked the basket but how am I going to put this into a DIY? I have no idea. Give me some ideas if you've got any you can, like look at how cute those two bears are they're really cute and then the basket as well but I don't really like the girl too much this is a little miniature basket and I loved it I've been looking for a miniature basket as well as the wagon and the cauldron so it was like I went in and it was like all my dreams for the miniatures came true this here is extremely heavy it's so heavy but I really like it and it kind of looks mid-century, you know, the decor that I'm going with right now. And I thought I could maybe paint it. It's actually a candle holder, but I don't know if I will put a candle in it like that. I don't know. That kind of looks like a pumpkin. Maybe I could do it as a pumpkin. I don't know. We'll see. I cannot remember buying this at all. I don't know if she put it in my bag. Yeah, because sometimes she puts things in for free um, before I like pay up and I think this is one of those things. But it's a candle holder, but ugh, it's just not my style. It's really like thick, you know, even if I paint it or do something with it, it's still just not the shape that I really like. And then some more of these kind of shabby chic flower vintage coasters. How many did I get? Again, a set of four here. Yes, I got another watering can. This one was smaller. I, I do use these quite a lot, so it does have a faded design on there. And these were around 20p again. I think this one might have been 50p, but um, tea light. This would be nice for winter crafts as well. I got some shoes, I have no idea what to do with these, you know it would look really cute actually is having a felted mouse, mouse yeah, in one of these, so this is a shoe, <laughs> how random I know, it's like this big, so I got this for maybe 20p and then another one here and it's both the left one so I can't even make it a pair because Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Let me just put them together. No, okay, you can tell. It's two left feet. When I was showing my hubby what I've bought, he was like, just why? What are you doing with all of these things? And one of the things he was like about were these clogs. Look how cute they are. They're so nice. Like, my mum really loves stuff like this as well. And I have no idea why I got them, okay? I just don't know. I can't really say that I'm going to use them for crafts either because what can I do with these? 
I picked up this as well just to hopefully do something with it that's that's all I'm going to be saying this whole video because I'm trying to justify why I got them and right now I'm not coming up with much <laughs> I've got this miniature cauldron this is one of my favourite ones I told you about and then I picked up this bear here I want to give it to my mum or maybe hubby would hubby like them my mum actually used to collect these so that's why I'm thinking to give it to her but this is really mashed and I don't want her to sort of know that I've got it like from a charity shop but it's brand new it hasn't actually been used so I'm thinking maybe just to sort of get it out um yeah and it says I love you this much on the t-shirt that's why I thought that they're going out this tatty teddy because you never saw them anymore in store and it'd always be like in charity shops and now they're starting to come back out like tatty teddy notebooks and pyjamas and everything I got this for my niece actually I was supposed to give it her they just came around yesterday oh I had some wooden toys I forgot I wanted to film it because I gave it to them yesterday my nephew came over and he's like two years and a few months so I got him a few toys from the charity shop I didn't get to film it to show you all but there was like three or four wooden toys and they're vintage kind of and my sister really loves that kind of stuff like wooden toys for babies so I got her that and he was really happy with them when they came over yesterday so yeah this was supposed to be for my niece and I forgot to give it her but I'm going to take it out of the packaging because the packaging looks really outdated it's got like you know the lights you put batteries in and it lights up like this I thought she'll quite like that she's a bit of a girly girl and she does like putting like a bit of lip gloss and nail varnish on you know they're at that age right now I got this church I thought it was actually just a building until I realised when I got home and I can't believe the detail on there is so incredible look at this door and then that's the building and then when I turn it around you can even see the tiny tombstones isn't that incredible so I actually collect a lot of these not for the house it was for crafts but it's getting a bit out of hand I have to admit I have a lot of them and I can't remember the last time I've really even used them for crafting with that's probably the, the truth about the majority of things that I buy that I say is for the craft channel if you go into my craft room which is like a craft room slash cat room because we've got the cats cat trees we've got about one two three we've got four cat trees in there that's their main room where they sleep and that so um, yeah I share it with them and the majority of the things in there I probably use maybe 30% of my craft supplies and then all of this stuff just doesn't really get used I've got this sign and I love giving signs makeovers so I do buy a lot of these and they are wooden I'm going to take the tassels off as well and that's also why I brought this wood I got it thinking that I could do something with the back and um, cut it because this is how it is I'm not going to obviously use that this has been etched in I don't actually know how they did that because it's not like a wood burner I don't know and then I brought this one which is really big it's a really nice one for bakers look at how long it is every cake what does it say even every cake has a story to tell and this part here is kind of like 3D and I got one of these jugs which is one of my favourites it's kind of in right now not miniature like this but this color and the whole style so yeah I do like this I was thinking to do something with it like you know a makeover and all of that but I feel like I might just give this a clean and just have it yeah oh my allergies are going crazy because it's so much dust like in all of this this is another thing that I thought kind of I'm probably gonna give it a paint and then stick you know one of the dinner candles in there and I thought that would look quite nice again I have a love right now for mid-century modern minimal kind of decor so that's why I got that 
Um, this was a pound and then it got reduced to 30p and I love picking up things like this like hair clips and jewellery because I take them apart and I use them in wreaths or canvas like mixed media yeah so that's another thing and I got these nubs for 20p I think it was as well I got this little miniature cup I'm hoping to do like a fairy garden or something with this yeah this was actually for free because it was chipped so when she saw it she said to me um you can have it for free and it's hand painted Crown Windsor England Croft Cottage I got this hopefully I can open it up and definitely make it a lot better it's got a little hook on the back but it's pretty small miniature one this I don't even know what is this um I think you'd stab a candle in there is that what it is why did I pick it up? I seem to be asking myself that question. Well, there are a lot in this video. Yeah, you get the point. <laughs> it's pointy. Ah, oh, I got this book here and I didn't actually look through it much at all. Um, I like poetry and I like creative writing. Has anyone heard of Rupi Kaur? I think this was her first book, 2014. Yeah, I think it's her first book actually and yeah, when I opened it, when I got home and I started reading through it, I thought, uh, it's not really my thing, yeah. But I have to tell you that it inspired me to actually think about writing because when I looked at these, I thought, hmm, maybe my writing is okay. If anyone knows, because I really am considering it, I really, it's been one of my things I want to do in my life is to publish something and I've always, always, always enjoyed writing from a really, really young age. Like I used to enter poetry competitions and stuff. So yeah, I thought, you know, life is too short. I want to go ahead and I want to write and I want to be able to publish. Like, you know, these are really, really small. Like, look at how small that is. Like, it's just a small bit. So this is kind of like how the, the book in itself is. I really do want to write and I just don't know how to go about it. Hubby was saying to try Amazon, like self-publishing. So if you have any experience or any advice or how to get started, please do let me know in the comments as well. So I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. That's the end of my haul. Yeah, do let me know if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos because I think I enjoy making them and doing them as well. You know, it's just a little bit different compared to Poundland and Home Bargains and the standard shops and it just gives me a little bit more that I can do on this channel because I know that a lot of you just want that content but sometimes I'm almost out of content because it's like there's not enough stock and there's not enough things to film. Yeah, so it would be good if I can do these hauls as well and kind of maybe go around um, like thrifting with you all. We'll have to see because the shops are really small and the people in there that manage shops, they can kind of be a little bit short tempered. Yeah, so we'll have, a, we'll have a look and see if we can film. We have actually got told off a few times. But yeah, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? So thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.